Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence.com. Today we are looking at this, which is a very nice portfolio style pen case. This was sent out for review by PenBoutique.com. You can find them at the link below here. And usually this goes for 80 bucks. It is, it appears to be on sale at um, Pen Boutique for $49.95. And for just sub 50 bucks, that seems like a great price for a portfolio like this. Um, this is a 24 pen case. As you can see, it is quite large. My hand for scale. It is made from buffalo leather, it says on the site. Um, and it is labeled yak leather. Yaks aren't technically buffalo. I looked it up. They are actually bison, but bison are pretty close to buffalo, so I'll give them a pass on that. It might be made of yak. Who knows? Otherwise, it'd be kind of odd to be called that, but there you go. Um, this is a very nice sort of soft leather. It is very well padded. A lot of padding in there, but also you can feel the stiffness of the cover. Uh, no give on this guy really at all. Has a nice, uh, you know, a nice... I don't know what you call this, a spine, a binding. If it was a book, it'd be a binding. The stitching is all very nice and neat and even, no loose threads anywhere, uh, no weirdness like that. It is a very well done case. Uh, and it says uh, on their website that they actually went through several iterations of this guy to get it right. It has nice big uh, tabs where the zipper pulls are. The zippers themselves are big brass uh, jobs. And they um, have the little loop you can see there in the picture, which will let you uh, lock it if you like. So let's open it up right quick. There's the inside. An interesting thing about this case is that it will uh, lay flat. You just zip the zippers all the way in. Uh, make sure that you have the tabs on the outside, by the way, because when I first did it, I didn't, and the tab was in the back, and it was a heck of a time unzipping that guy. Um, this will lay flat, and there's another good thing about this for display is that it has this nice uh, felt insert in here, which is quite nice and cushy, uh, and that also comes out with a bit of Velcro. So if you're traveling to and fro, you can have that in, just kind of press it in there, and it'll stay. Uh, and protect your pens from rubbing against the other side of the case over here. But when you get to the table and you want to display your pens or whatever, shunk, take that guy out, throw it off to the side, and uh, you have a very nice looking pen case here that shows all your pens off, which is, uh, I think, a big plus. You can see this does have two rows, top and bottom of uh, these little loops. These loops are actually double loops. Um, when I think of double loops on a binder like this, I think of one top and one bottom in each row. And actually, truth be told, I prefer that because it keeps your pens from wiggling around. These loops have a big leather one and then a small elastic one. And check out this picture here that I'm going to splice in. This will show you better than I can on this camera. Uh, what that little loop looks like. So that means that you have, if you have small pins like this Parker 51, uh, there's plenty of room in this loop, which uh, you may or may not be able to see. Plenty of room in this loop above it, but it's being held securely by that little one. So if you have skinny pins, this will hold them. If you have big fat pins like this Ryan Crusack L16, this is a massive pen. This Conalea Monachia, which is a pretty big pen, but not quite as big as this uh, L16. This is a massive pen, man. This is just in the large leather loop, and so is this one. So um, there you go. This is, uh, this is that's, the, that's the loop system in this case. You will also see, here's another picture, that there is a ridge that goes down the center of each one of these pages, and that will keep your pens from sliding up and down. It does seem to be very effective. I haven't had a pen slide out of its slot yet, so that's pretty cool. Um, as far as other stuff in the case here to give you as prose and description, it does have a very nice felt interior. It is quite soft. I can't imagine any pen getting damaged by this felt. It is very nice. Um, so here are a couple of cons from this case. Um, the first is that it's got this felt interior. This felt interior is very comfortable, but as you'll see in this picture here, it is impossible to get all the lint off of this sucker. And so if you have a white cat, say like Mr. Nose, he will get his fur all over this guy and it will be a pain in the butt to try to get it out of there. Or just a random old, uh, like, I don't know, uh, ceiling fan lint or something. So that's one con. There's another one, and that goes back to the straps. Um, while I like the idea of these double straps, I do kind of wish they had just given me top and bottom straps, as I said before, because if you have a big pen that's not big enough to go underneath, um, or big enough to be held steady by this uh, one big leather strap, like say this Monarchia, which is a large pen, but it's not as girthy as say this Ryan Crusack pen. Um, it goes in there and it'll kind of move around. And I cannot get it underneath the little elastic strap that's in there because um, this is a fat pen and it has a blunt end 
and there's not enough room under here for me to get my fingers under there and move the the elastic and stuff so this one just has to go in there and I have to hope it doesn't move too much which is not ideal honestly I, I kind of wish there was a better system for that but I don't know what it would be maybe like a little elastic down here I, I, I don't really know how to do it I'm not a constructor but um, this is not terribly convenient because your pins kind of will move around now these ones these little Ryan Krusek L14s are held in very well as this is tactile turn gist all of these are smaller pins and they're held in very well by that little elastic so as long as you can get your pin under the elastic it's great if you can't get your pen under the elastic and it's a like a bigger pen like this is a pelican m1000 so this case will hold all kinds of good stuff but like this kind of moves around in here and if it wasn't for this ridge it would probably i would probably find it up here after a day of travel or something um, however that hasn't been the case so this ridge is doing its job and the other thing that does its job is this felt piece so when you put this divider back in and you close the thing up uh, the pressure from the other side plus this felt will keep your pens from moving around. They seem pretty secure. Um, and I haven't I haven't had any worries about them being insecure or whatever in my traveling around. I've taken this to Pen Club a few times, um, and I haven't taken it. I didn't take it to Chicago with me, and here's why. Um, the reason I didn't take it to Chicago with me is look how thick this guy is. This is a very thick case. It is it is thick with two C's, man. It is beefy. Um, and while that's great because it's cushy and it's padded and it's got a hard, you know, interior and uh, the felt and all this, um, your pins are safe, but also this is going to take up a lot of room in a bag. So I had this in my rickshaw medium zero messenger bag and it took up most of the bag actually. So that's why I didn't take it with me, even though this would be great for a pen show. And if I were just like throwing it in a suitcase, that would be great. Um, but as far as like small carry-ons, those sorts of things that airlines demand now, this takes up a lot of room. Now, here's the other thing is I don't have any other big 20, 24 pin cases like this. And so I don't know if this is normal. Perhaps that's just what, the way it goes with these massive pin cases. Um, generally, I'll just carry like a bunch of Nokko cases, like a bunch of Sinclairs or... Uh, Audrey's got a brass town or uh, a bunch of like lookouts or the, you know whatever or like these little ones from rickshaw I'll just throw a bunch of these in my bag that kind of thing uh, that's less convenient because you can't just have them all in one place uh, but it does take up less room, it seems, because you can put them in nooks and crannies. So the carrying this around is really the biggest problem, I think, with the case. And that's just that it is a thick case, man. It's big. So if that doesn't bother you or if that's exactly what you're looking for, I would say go and grab this case. Um, if you have smaller pens, especially if they have like pointy ends on them, if you have like these uh, flattened off ends, it can be a little bit difficult to get them under that these, that um, that elastic. But that's those are my only quibbles. I really don't have any problems with, these, with this case other than that it's kind of thick and that the the bands don't work exactly how I would prefer them to but also I don't have a better option because I mean you want protection and you want to have um you know options and I think this pin get this pin case gives you all that stuff and at a very reasonable price as I said this is 50 bucks right now and 50 bucks for a 24 pin case like this this is head and shoulders better than that Monteverde case like it's got with 36 pens or something it holds more pens but I think less well and with less protection and not that much less price so I would say go for one of these um, if you have the space for it that's the that's the biggest determining factor for me all right, so thank you again for to Pen Boutique for sending this out for review. Y'all check out these Yak Leather cases. They also have them in um, uh, twelve pin cases, which I bet, which I think are like this big. Um, so that'd be actually kind of a great size. This twenty four pin is just real big. Uh, they've also got like I think singles and doubles and that kind of stuff. So check them out at Pen Boutique. I haven't found them anywhere else. And like I said, I think this might be particular to Pen Boutique, although I wasn't able to find all that many details. So there you go. Check this out. I will see y'all later on. Until then, peace out.